All right, for this one, we're going to use completing the square. What you do is you rearrange the x's together. Leave a space after those x's. Put your y's together. Leave a space after those and move this. If there's a minus 5, add it to the other side. So that cancels out. So it's going to be equal to 5. So you get it set up where you rearrange. Then you complete the square. That means you take this middle number here, divide it by 2, you square it, and you throw it right afterwards. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 squared is 16. That's going to go there. And we throw it on the other side as well. Do the same thing for the 1 and the y. Take that 4, divide by 2. That's 2. 2 squared is 4. I'm going to add that there and add there. So the first thing is you want to do that to both sides because whatever happens to one side happens to the other. Then you complete the square, which means you got to factor this. So this is going to become x minus because of that negative there. And then that 4, the number that is half of 8 and the square root of 16. And that's going to be squared. And then do the same thing over here. And it's going to be y plus half of 4 is 2. And these numbers, 15, or 6 plus 5 plus 16 plus 5 plus 4 is 25. You can double check that, but those add to 25. And there's your equation. Now we can pull out the center. And let's just take the opposite of those signs. So that's going to be 4, negative 2. And then the radius is going to be the square root of 25. So the radius is going to be 5. So your center is going to be 4, negative 2. And your radius is 5. You can also graph this in the um, graph calculator. I have it pulled up here. So if you put that in there, just as you see it, without doing any rearranging, you get the circle like this. And you can verify that the coordinate 4, comma, negative 2 is the center. You can see that's right in the middle there. And if you do a little counting, you can see, hey, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That radius is going to be 5 units. So you can get that from the graph if you're savvy enough to put that in Desmos.